Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, so just wanted to uh, keep you guys posted on what's going on with the mead. Um, so as you know, we did uh, three meads, one traditional. Uh, the second one was a uh, hy uh, hydromel. Uh, the third one was another hydromel, but we're gonna do raspberries in that one. So it looks like number two, the hydromel, um, is done fermenting. So what I was gonna do was uh, what's called rack it. So that means taking it from the original fermentation container and moving it to a second container so it can actually finish out. I'm also going to check the uh, ABV, alcohol by volume percentage. It should be at 1.000. Um, but right now I'm sanitizing everything just to make sure that everything's good so that we don't introduce in, uh, any additional bacteria or anything in that. I got to go get the meat. So um, I am using star sand um, and I have everything that I need right here. The container I'm gonna put it in, this uh, auto siphon. Um, this is uh, just six foot uh, plastic tubing. So I'm gonna use this stainless steel turkey baster to actually get the mead out, um, put, it, um, put it in the glass for tasting. Uh, and uh, I'm also gonna put it in the um, high hydrometer tube so that I can get the, the reading from that. And finally, I have the airlock here. I'm just gonna let this stuff dry off a little bit. But before I go get the meat, I'm gonna do uh, one thing. I'm gonna go over the details of the original data that we took on it. So again, meat number two is the high Grimmel uh, the ABV, alcohol by volume, original reading was 1.042, which is gonna produce about 5.5% alcohol. We used uh, 0.6 pounds uh, of a local honey uh, and 0.6 pounds um, honey from Walmart. Uh, so we have 1.2 pounds. Um, the yeast we used was Lauvin EC118. Uh, 2.5 grams and uh, all right looks like we're good to go so I'm going to take some readings and continue to track those in the mead logbook here we're going to take um, another ABV reading and this reading is going to tell us if all of the yeast is chewed up um, if that is the case uh, we'll know because it'll tell us that it's basically uh, at a reading of 1.000 or lower all right Okay, let's get some first reactions here. <laughs> yeah, as expected, it is a little bit, just slightly below 1.000. So the fermentation process is 100% done. Wow, that's great. Okay, so I'm gonna taste that while this is racking from the one container to the other. In theory, I should be able to give this two pumps and get it started. And like that, it's working. All right, looks like we've gotten everything out of it that we're gonna get out of it. So we just finished racking uh, the number two me from the original carboy um, to the secondary carboy. I want to give you guys an update on uh, on the smell and the taste. Oh, it smells very light. Um, I can definitely smell the honey. So here comes the moment of truth. Um, unfortunately, no one else was available to do a taste test with me on this one. Everybody's tied up doing other stuff, but cheers. Hmm. Okay. So it is, it's very light. Um, not a lot of honey flavor in this. Um, so I think for our very first mead, mead number two finished first and wow, it's doing really good. That tastes, that tastes good. It's not a lot of honey taste. It's not very strong, but there's not a lot of alcohol. It's very nice. I really think number three, mead number three, the hydromel with the raspberry, 
is going to be phenomenal just from what I'm gathering from this here. Right now, to say, am I satisfied with how things are progressing? Absolutely, this is awesome. Okay, uh, this is the next video for mead number two, the 5.5% uh, hydromel. Um, the mead is right here. Uh, it's actually completely done fermenting. Uh, I wanna show you guys just how clear this has become. It's pretty amazing what it looks like. I mean, look at this. Unbelievable. So if you recall, I actually have stabilized this mead already. Uh, stabilizing it again means to um, uh, add potassium metabisulfite and potassium sorbate and that kills the yeast. So it will no longer be able to do anything with any sugars that you put in there. For example, the back sweetening that I'm gonna do uh, to make the mead sweeter. Um, like I said, uh, at the first initial test, uh, taste test before, it's very light. Um, there is a slight honey taste, but not as much as I want. And it is really common to back sweeten mead. So right now I'm gonna back sweeten and I'm gonna bottle for the first time. Basically, uh, I have sanitized all of the equipment that I'm gonna use. Um, as well as these bottles over here. Um, and I've got everything ready to go. So what my plan right now is um, to go ahead and back sweeten. Um, the recommendation for that was four ounces of honey at a time and then stir it up. Um, but I'm gonna do two ounces at a time because I feel like you can always add more, but you can't take anything back. So it may take a little bit longer than expected but this is my first time, so um, it's gonna take however long that it needs to. So what I'm gonna do right now is I am going to get two ounces of honey. So let me get my scale here. Um, so yeah, this is two pounds of honey, but I'm just gonna do two ounces at a time. Add it, stir it. Okay, we are at two fluid ounces here. So I'm gonna actually give it a slight initial taste right now. Yeah, actually the taste has gotten better, which it does over time, um, but it still needs sweetener. So uh, I'm gonna move forward and add two ounces of honey. Now I'm gonna give that a stir to make sure that it's mixed up really good. All right, we're gonna take another taste test here. I can smell more honey. That's better. Yeah, I can taste it. Okay. So I'm gonna do, definitely do another two. Two more ounces. All right. Just gonna stir this up one more time. Hmm. So it is definitely tasting sweeter. Um, I think I'm gonna go with another two ounces though. Okay, another taste test. That's good. That's good. Hmm. Do I go for the eight or stay at the six? That's pretty good. I'm doing the eight. All right, two more ounces. All right, let's stir this up. Hopefully this will be the last time. Pretty good. Taste test. Can definitely smell more honey. Okay. I think that's the consistency and the taste I want. That tastes really good. That's really good. It's mild, uh, it's refreshing. There's no uh, dry or alcohol taste, you know, that burns you, uh, that burns your mouth um, or your throat. Um, still 
fragrant, light. Uh, I think we have a finished product. So I'm gonna move to uh, bottling. Okay, so I cleaned up some things, uh, washed my hands off a little bit to get the honey, and we are going to bottle our mead number two, Hydromel. I bought these bottles, self-capping bottles. Uh, basically, you can take the bottle cap and it's got a rubber stopper on it. You just kind of push down and then pull these down and it will seal it. All right, I have no idea how many uh, bottles this is gonna take. These are 16 ounce bottles and this one is 16 plus, I don't know, uh, maybe 20, 24. So this is actually the bottler. So basically the way that it works is nothing will come through if the valve is closed and it's in the closed position when this is down. When you put it in the bottle and this hits the bottom of the bottle, this opens the valve and allows the mead uh, to go through and then fill the bottle from the top up. Okay, so we're flowing. Well, let's go up a little bit higher because I want to get as much as I can into these. That's where our finish is going to be right there. All right, that's two. All right, hoping I can fit the rest of this inside of this bottle here. And like that, we are bottled. So now I'm just gonna take each and every one of these and seal them up. And like that, easy peasy, we are done. Well, I was able to get uh, five 16 ounce bottles and one, I think that might be a 24 ounce bottle. Again, this was mead number two, Hydromel, 5.5% alcohol. Um, I'm finished. Number two, mead number two is done. If you guys like content like this, please let us know. Uh, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, comment below. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, I know Jerry and Dom really would appreciate it if you would. Um, and if you can, uh, share this video because it helps their channel grow. Uh, we've got two more meads to take care of. Mead number one uh, is the uh, traditional, which is 13% alcohol. And mead number three is Hunter's Mead, which is the raspberry hydromel. That one's going to be about 6% alcohol, but it's going to have the raspberry flavor. So again, same process. We'll taste, back sweeten, um, and then bottle. And those are done. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hope to see you guys on the next video. Later.